Is our our audio is muted. Hold on. Okay. I didn't do it. That was better. Now we can hear things. Hey. Hello, everyone. Tonight we are playing KOTOR. Knights of the Old Republic. I am, of course, a Mashiachosaurus. And let's do this thing here. Why do we torture ourselves with these silly games? Uh, this one's not that bad. Although this, the second one is much better. It is. But, here we are. We're on Tatooine. And there's a lot of sand. A lot of sand. I'm just kind of filling in our map a little bit here, getting some of that black off the screen. Well, that piece of trash is useless. Let's run all the way to the border. detail here. Recovering mines is more difficult than disarming them, but you get to keep the mine, which you can then use yourself or sell. I strongly recommend selling them because, frankly, they're useless in combat. Um, you have to lay them down. Okay, yeah. Great. You have to lay them down in advance, and you have to know where the enemies are going to be. And unlike in some games, enemies in this game don't really roam around. Um, they'll only come after you if they've sighted you. And you can get hurt by your own mind. So you got to make sure that like wherever you set them, you don't put them in a place where you're going to need to move to. And it's just, it's a mess. Oh. A small group of sand people. Uh, let's do Force Whirlwind. That is some camp over there. Yeah. And there we go. The gaffy sticks, you can sell for money, or you can use them as a weapon if you really want to, but, um, like, they're just strictly worse than pretty much everything you'll have at this point, so there's literally no point to doing that. Really? Wow, they, uh, spawned kind of close this time. We do have sand people disguises, and that will prevent sand people from spawning and randomly attacking us, but, like, I mean, they're not hard to kill, so whatever. These Banthas won't do anything to us. You can see there's a few sand people over there. And they are roaming around, defying what I earlier said about 
enemy's not doing that. But, like, try to get near them without aggroing them. And uh, you'll see what I mean. No, no, no. Can I suggest? I wasn't even trying to talk to you. Now, when HK-47 gets injured, we can't just spam heal and help him. Fortunately, we've done the mini side quest thing to get him up to snuff, so he actually regenerates on his own. But it's a serious consideration when you're bringing the droid companions, and it's one of the reasons why they are terrible. Um, there's never a good reason to bring the droid characters unless the plot requires it, as it does in this case. And we want to be careful not to get too close to that area, because there are guns up there that will fire on us if we're not wearing our disguises, and they will kill us very quickly. You can even just kind of make them out. in here. And another attack. They're really spawning these guys very close to us. I don't know why. yourself from now on, HK? I mean, yeah, we're gonna kill all these guys, obviously, the force demands it or some shit, but, like, you know, could I... It is very easy to get hung up on your own allies' hitboxes. Why that was ever a thing in video games. I don't know. They should have just made it by default that you can just pass through allies. Like, maybe it doesn't make a lot of sense, but it sure does make the gameplay better. Life support pack that obviously doesn't work too well because we found it on a corpse. Okay. Looks like there's only, like, maybe three more of these guys. Like I said, we don't want to get too close to the guns. vanished by now. They don't have any remains left. We already looted them. <laughs> Another thing to consider when deciding if you're going to uh, 
recover the mine or just uh, disarm it um, is if you're in combat or not. If you're out of combat, it'll just let you like take 20 on the attempt, which is means that out of, out of a 1 in 20 chance, you will always roll a 20, so you'll get your maximum. Okay. Let's, uh... Let's go ahead and equip our sand people clothing. Our droid doesn't need any, obviously. This doesn't even significantly impact our, uh... Fence, at least on Busty. But with these so equipped, we can get close and enter their base. Attempting to do this without the disguise is instant death. Okay, everybody, act like a sand people. Okay. Well. Interjection. One moment. I believe I understood that, Master. It may not have been his intention, but he did actually communicate something. Translation. <laughs> I believe I have succeeded in confusing him, Master. He has shown an interest not common among outsiders. Translation. Translation. He is expressing disbelief, as am I. But his duty requires that he report to his chief to extrapolation. It would seem that we are at least worthy of curiosity for the moment. I would much rather this get bloody, Master, but it is your call. You can, of course, just fight me through this. But if you don't have HK-47, translating is not uh, an option. Translation. I can translate with some guarantee of accuracy that he is demanding to know why he should let us survive this encounter, Master. Why am I not wearing clothes? Translation. Translation. He claims he has no reason to believe you, Master. Your kind have tainted this land with machines and uncaring, ignorant feet. Translation. He requires proof of good faith. We must make a contribution to his people that shows we are not a threat. Shall I blast him now, Master? <laughs> Translation. Translation. He plans to move his people farther from Anchorhead, but they need to build up stores of water first. He says you must aid him. Translation. He wants moisture evaporators from the Zerka. If you deliver them, he will order that his people reduce their attacks on miners. Translation. <laughs> Translation. He says that will never happen, Master. Ignorant outsiders continually desecrate their most reverential customs. This will always demand a response. An attitude I can respect. Protocol. From his perspective, a reduction is already a large step. It is doubtful you will get agreement on much more than that. Translation. <laughs> Translation. Hmm. He does not believe you, Master. He will only be allowed to re-enter the Enclave when we have the evaporators with us. Translation. We are to be escorted outside. He will wait, but he doesn't believe we are coming back. Okay. So, that's the situation. Now, uh... Let's see, I want the Jedi Knight robe, and Bastila, you can have the Dark Jedi Knight robe. Because you're not as cool as me. 
So, you need to get moisture evaporators from something. I think this is our good. Yep. Which means that you have to travel back to Anchorhead. We're just going to warp back, because that's the easiest way to do this. And actually, while I'm here... Uh, I want to try and talk up... I know Bastila is all up to stuff, but let's try talking to Karth a little bit and advance his plot a little more. Yes, what's on your mind? Have I been quiet? Suppose I have. I guess I just don't like being left out of the loop. Left out of the loop, you know, not being told anything, strung along. It's really starting to irritate me. For one thing, I want to know what the Jedi Council said to you. They pulled you in there and refused to tell me a thing about it. I'm rather curious to know what went on and why they didn't keep you on Dantooine for training. Isn't that strange? And why is that? You were a great help on Terrace, but why would they keep you with us? Don't they, don't they have to train you? A bond? What kind of bond? You mean to say that they told you that you were tied to Bastila in some way? Huh, I have trouble believing that. Your neophyte Padawan has been saddled with the responsibility of tracking down these star maps. Why? That's not normal. I am not trying to provoke you or to imply that you're somehow responsible for the Jedi Council, but give me a hand here. There has to be a reason. And what does that mean? Well, is this more of that destiny garbage that the Jedi keep talking about? Well, that can't be it. Well, I'll tell you this much. I'm not going to wait around until I'm betrayed again. Yeah, we'll just see about that one. Someone's got trust issues. I didn't issues. mean it that way. Yeah. I want to get to Saul. Not... No, no. Daddy no. trust issues? All I can do is insult you, isn't it? Just forget I said anything. Let's let's just get on with what we were doing. Okay. Yes, what's on your mind? I, um... Uh, I'm not very good at this. Sometimes I, you can I get know I owe you an apology. Discussions, uh, yeah? More than one, probably. I was just so desperate to finally face Saul directly in the Battle of Terrace. And now the Jedi have us looking for these... These star maps. I know this mission is important. It's just I, I feel a bit useless. I, I, mean, I can fight, sure, but I'm no Jedi. All this feels completely out of my league. That's because it is completely out of your league. <laughs> because this is more important. This may really finally make a difference. I suppose even if I can't figure out everything that's going on, I still want to help if I can. I just hate not knowing what's going on and feeling this helpless. I, but I shouldn't have taken that out on you. I've been a royal pain on the backside, haven't I? Yes. No, I do worry about it. I've traveled the lanes more than once. I should know better than this. So, yeah, I'm I sorry. Agree. Will you accept my apology? Done. Let's get underway then, shall we? Partner? Yes, what's in your mind? Okay. You got it. So he's all chatted up. How can I help? And... Why? I could not accomplish this on my own. I need the aid of others, especially one who is strong in the Force. The bond between us made you a natural choice. Besides, the events on Taurus prove that the Force wanted to bring us together for this mission. And there is little left to chance when the Force is involved. Is that not enough for you? No. I admit... There were times that I wondered if this is more than just a mission to stop Malak. There were times when I wondered if this was also a way for the Council to test my own abilities. I wondered if the Council wanted to see how I would help and guide you on our quest. I wondered if they were testing me to see if I was ready to become a Jedi Master myself. Why does everything have to evolve around you, you Master? Were. As the Council explained, sending a Master in our group would only have drawn unwanted attention from the Sith. The fate of the galaxy is at stake. The Council would not risk it merely to test me. They calculated the risks, and in the end chose the only option available. You must learn to trust in the wisdom of the Council. Your destiny will come when it's appointed time. You mustn't be so impatient. Come on, come. Let's move on. There's much to be done. Okay. 
How can I help? Uh, well, can I suggest we move? Yeah. All right. Those two are up to date. Nobody hangs out in the comms room. Bagheera here. I feel I must apologize for the way I acted towards you before in the Grove. It was wrong of me. I agree. I am sorry for attacking you. I am sorry for thinking you would only try to kill me. I hope that by helping you in your task, I may redeem myself in your eyes and in my own. Thank you. It is most reassuring to know that you can forgive me, even though I try to take your life. I can only hope that in our time journeying together, I will succeed. Okay. Juani, I want to be careful with because uh, if you get to a certain point in her story, uh, it actually blocks you from getting any of the other stories completed. Got something on your mind? Uh, you got yourself a fast little ship? <laughs> I forgot what engine sounded like. The closest thing to that on Kashyyyk is an uller in mating season. Oh, frightful. Or it could be for the free food. What's the gunk that comes out of a synthesizer on this bucket anyway? Do you never clean the darn thing? How impatient can one person be? You must have driven your mother mad. All that gurgling and fussing. Babies are cute, but annoying. You know, Agreed. You remind me of someone else I knew ages ago. Pleasant enough fellow, great destiny. All of that breath like a panther. Oh, 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 very funny. Is it my fault that some people are so easily annoyed? Like impatient little children with blasters. Anyway, uh, where was I? Oh, yes. Andor Vix was his name. The force swirled around him like a hurricane. That's how great his destiny was. No, he wouldn't have. Sometimes swirling force is just swirling force. It gets us old Jedi's excited at our age, so we go, ooh, destiny. Well, it turned out that poor Andor believed a wee bit too much in the infallibility of that destiny. That overconfidence turned out to be his downfall. I don't know. Are you overconfident? I hadn't noticed. Even if I had, I would never comment on it. We're talking about Andor, remember? Let's see. Oh, yes, Andor's downfall. I was pretty young myself when it happened. At the time, I thought that Andor's destiny couldn't be more boring. Well, let's just say that I was a strapping young lad with a full head of hair, and Coruscant was a small town with a will. <laughs> I was just about to abandon Andor to whatever the Force intended for him when his ship was overtaken by a Dimian warship. Now, you've probably never heard of the Dimians, but at the time, they were a nasty lot led by a nastier overlord named Krat. Tall fellow, big teeth. Krat has us hauled onto the bridge of a ship for questioning, and that's when I knew that Andor's destiny was at hand. Of course he did. Haven't you been listening? It was not in the way you probably expect, though. Well, Andor decides that his destiny makes him invulnerable and starts making all sorts of demands. Free me now. I'm not answering questions. Blah, blah, blah. Don't you know who I am? Krat decides he's had enough and begins crushing Andor's neck. I told the boy he should have kept his mouth shut. I think he agreed too. This could have just been gurgling noises. No, well, anyway. Finally, Krat has enough of Andor and tosses him aside into this giant energy intake shaft. Andor gets sucked in and starts bouncing around and is screaming. <laughs> Maybe Andor sounds hilarious. sensitive on the way down or just didn't agree with the reactor core. Next thing I know, all the ship's alarms are ringing. Everyone panics and I run, barely making it to the ship in time before the explosion. Krat dies horribly, and the Dimians never quite recover. Changed the political course of the entire sector for centuries to come. I'd call that quite a destiny, wouldn't you? Eh, hey, potato, potato. What? Are you kidding? What are the odds of that happening anyway? A billion to one? 
You should do so well as to be something to the engine of some evil Sith Lord, you know. Ando was a hero. Please sort of don't talk to me about where I'm getting sucked into. Throat is dry and you're making me cranky. Shoot. So, all of Jolie's stuff is just stories like that, similar to uh, Candorous. Stories of the old days when he was awesome, but, you yeah. know, only as told by him. T3 and Zalbar. Uh, Zalbar's story is done since we completed Kashyyyk. T3 doesn't have one. And uh, we've already completed um, HK-47s. Um, let's go ahead and... Temporarily, I want to have mission in the group. I don't know if what? this will quite work because uh, she's got a she's at a point where um, her story, in in order to progress farther, uh, a particular event needs to happen. And I don't know if it can happen on Tatooine, but it can happen when you leave. Oh, there we go. Oh, this is for Bastion. Yeah. I take it that you know my mother. Is there something I can do for you, miss? As you can see, we're in quite a hurry. Kakin cha na kwat na bon kon, wana kumbes chi bala molek don't keep my mother's condition. Ti kondo ona chaba chisa wanki, ti toki gra. I've not seen my mother since I joined the order. Do you know what's happened? Did she? Did she say anything about my father? Gen chopa chawi ti chop twees yun kun, watu yama kama wana henak neck bugra shak kut nasi. Where did you meet her? Do you remember? Oh. Part of me would rather not see her at all. But if she's really sick, well, we shall see. Okay, then. I was not expecting to get Bastila's story out of the way this quickly, but um, a similar thing will happen for Mission, uh, but I don't think that it can happen on Tatooine. I think it has to happen on a different planet, because... Missions one sends you to What are you? What now? Oh my. The mother was supposed to be here, so ask if they've seen her. We should try to find her. I doubt she wants to be kept waiting. Well, this just bodes so well. Is this the cantina? No, that's the soup raisin. Which I could do, but it's just a side thing. It doesn't get you anything but money. And we've seen the super race before. It doesn't change. The course is a little different, but not significantly. Oh, Bioware. Are you idiots ready? Okay. I'm sorry, do I? I'm him. Don't you recognize me? What do you expect when I haven't so much as had a picture of you since you left? Do you know how long I've been trying to find you? You knew, as well as I, communication would be impossible once I joined the Order. Now what is this about? Where is Father? Then you haven't heard. Has something happened to him? Are you going to tell me or not? Your father is dead. This is part of the reason why I was looking for him. Dead? What happened? What did you do to him? Isn't this a lovely reunion? Already she's flinging insults at me. Tell me, you're one of her friends. Do you treat your mother this way? Yes. I'm sure Bastila feels the same way you do. She would be better than that. At least until I'm dead, as her father is. I was told you were sick. Are you actually dying, or is this merely melodrama for my benefit? 
such sweet things, you say. Well, perhaps I shall tell you everything first before we start arguing again. So you could start by telling me what you got Father into that killed him. I hadn't realized Jedi was so spiteful. You want me to tell you I brought your father here for an expedition, do you? You want to blame me for his death? You never accepted that your father loved going on his treasure hunts, leaving you alone with me. I was always to blame for everything. What else is new? So yes, fine. I brought your father here to look for great dragon pearls. He took an expedition into the Tatooine Desert, and he died. How can you be sure of that? Father is an experienced Do you think I would look for you if I wasn't sure? They were attacked by a great dragon, and one of the guys fled the battle. He saw your father killed. I see. So what do you want from me? Credits? Don't be insulting. I want you to use those senses of yours. I want you to find him. I want you to bring back his holocron. Why? So you can sell it. Is it too much to ask that I have something to remember your father by? Of course it is, isn't it? You couldn't be bothered. We're very busy on a mission from the Jedi Council. I doubt I'll have the time. Ask my companions if you doubt me. He doesn't seem to have anything to do with what she's asking. He's actually sick, Mother. What difference does it make to you? None, I'm sure. Just find your father's hologram, and you won't have to worry about me again either way. That's the kind of response I would expect. Very well. We look for the holocron for your time. I can't promise any more than that. I believe your father was headed north towards the sand people on the road. I will check along that route, dear. Do please hurry. Oh boy. That woman's a delight. I mean, so am I. How many repasses gets it from? Yep. Uh, we need to go back to Zerka, and also, um, since she's not doing anything for us, let's just slot in HK-47, so we can just get on with our quest. So we fast talked our way into some moisture evaporators. I believe the random attacks will stop now uh, since we've spoken to the chieftain. But if not, Yes, yes, blah, blah, blah. Thrilling gameplay. That sand crawler, though, is really cool. Pretty sure we looted this ages ago, but... Never hurts to recheck your piles. I thought you stupid miners were getting the heck out of here.
guess they're just hanging out. Dealt with the Gamorreans and all that, so. Corpses. Oh, empty. Empty. Okay, so those were already looted. And we want to find. Dear old dad's corpse. I want to say there was a skeleton we couldn't look at before. Or maybe it's that right there, just lying out in the open. Well, that's a Twi'lek corpse, so maybe that's not her father. It doesn't look like a Twi'lek. I have a thermal dent here. No. She could have had surgery. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> nah, I think Bastille is just, you know, the crossbreeding between normal human and bitch. Because her mom is just a treat. He said he was heading north towards the Enclave. Well, this is north towards the Enclave. Enclave is in the south. Whatever. We'll check the other area. Uh, my way past line. Triple checking this one just to be sure, but no. It would make more sense if it's in the other area, so I'm pretty confident that that's where we're going to find it. Not, in fact, near the Sand People Enclave, even though that's what she said. Hey, Steve, how's it going? Extrapolation. This guard doesn't appear honored to have the job of greeting us. Translation. <laughs> Take us before the chieftain, as he was instructed to do. Cool. Translation. He did not expect us to return, Master. He wonders if we have brought the moisture evaporators. Translation. Translation. He does not trust you, Master, but you have done more than any other outsider. 
they will not attack, and he grants you his chieftain's gaffy as reward. Translation, the attacks will be reduced, and he will allow you to explore this enclave, but be warned that any lack of respect will result in death. Hey, Mephris. Yeah, I agree. HP more is the best. peaceful arrangement to continue. Be careful of what you ask. Protocol. This will be a very sensitive topic, Master. You will want to be careful with your questions or risk offending you. Not that that is much of a worry. Translation. Translation. He says that the fact that you have to ask, this is just one more example of your ignorance as an outsider, Master. He says you are blind. Translation, his people believe they are part of the land, living with it. You and your kind dare to raise yourself above it. You remove yourself. Translation, that act of removal makes you an outsider, separate from all that is important. You can never understand how unwelcome you are. Translation. Translation. He says that he will not master. There is one storyteller in each clan, and only he may recite the histories. Translation. Translation. He says that you don't understand. They must never be told to someone who might say them incorrectly out of ignorance. Translation. To speak them in error is a blasphemy punishable by death. Only their greatest warriors are even permitted to listen to the tales. Translation. Translation. He doesn't know, Master. His people usually kill outsiders, since you are an outsider yourself. That would not suffice. Translation. The greatest challenge for a warrior is to face a great dragon, the largest predator on Tatooine. Fight one of those, and bring back a dragon pearl. Disgust. I think he's making fun of you, Master. He doesn't believe an outsider could do such a thing. Translation. Translation. There is a dragon in the far eastern Doom Sea, but he claims you could never defeat it. Here is a map to the area. Translation. There is a hunter, a twilight, that is sometimes seen out there. Perhaps he would be of some help. Translation. Dragonbird. Also known as Rocky Mountain Easters. Translation. We are free to leave. No? Okay. So now we can not finally... Not even a chuckle. Not I'm not sorry. Not even a chuckle. God, did it so, suck that bad? Probably. So... There's females. Um, basically, you don't want to talk to anyone too much, or uh, you, you also don't want to like try to steal anything because if they see you doing that, they will Are they definitely. Be out of your hands? Yeah. I'm sure they have no problem talking to them. No, they they don't. Okay. So now that we've seen the sand people have Jawas. We can go back and we can talk to the chieftain about them. Puri, what do you wish to ask of him, Master? Clarification. We must be more specific, Master. They capture many organics. Translation. Translation. He says that the captive Jawas are slaves and that they have lived past their usefulness. You may take them if you wish. Translation. Alright, free Jawas. Okay. 
always wanted my own Jawas. So now we can just take the Jawas. Otherwise, you gotta fight your way out of here and it, it gets. Okay. They don't mind us mind us looting corpses. We just can't take their stuff. Trash there. I think that that is also off limits stuff. I don't touch anything. I'm I'm not going to because like it's very easy one to wrong aggro. Touch, one wrong touch. And yeah. It's over. It's it's very easy to aggro literally everyone in this encampment. So that's the way out. And let's just complete our little circuit here. There we go. Okay, so, we're going to head over this way. Now, before, we weren't actually allowed to go this way, um, because uh, we didn't have a map to the territory. But we gained a map to the territory, so now we can head over here. I don't know how useful a map would be in an area that's literally just sand dunes, but, you know, stuff happens. This should take us to the Eastern Dune Sea. And here we are. Hey, it's a dewback. Hello, you big lizard. This path right here would take us back to the Dune Sea near Anchorhead. We have no need to go there. Dewbacks are so cute. are so huge. Can't stand having unexplored territory on my mini map. That right there is where the crate dragon is. And we are going to take it down. That's what you say.
There. Okay. Let's go walk up to this monster. Give him what for? Are you kidding me? Yes, Sterling, I know. I'm tired of waiting, Comad. How big can this dragon of yours be? I'm going in. Yes, I know, baby. I guess you got a really bad headache. One of those, one of those uh, thunderclap headaches. Like, oh, I get, it, I get those. So sick. It, yeah, really bad timing. I mean, when you're trying to kill a monster. Okay, game. Don't put, don't put the. The shadow on the map that close to the marker if you're not going to go past the marker a little bit. Okay. So we gotta kill this dragon. Look, I have your father. Look, I am your father. Oh. Bad joke. You need to stop that. You don't need anything. Why are you screaming? You're not getting any you know what? You got already. Okay, so now we have to go to these banthas over here. And lead them over to where I'm at, or where we were. It's pretty straightforward. We will get attacked by sand people, but there's, there's nothing we can't deal with. Hey, Banbo. Now, if you do this planet first, which I usually do because I love HK47, um, you would get the Kalo Nord fight uh, here after emerging from the cave. But Kalo Nord is dead, so I don't know if there is a second fight at this point. There might be against his second in command. Wait, do we have to grab the stupid? Did you forget a thing? After the fight, you have to grab the Banthos again.
By the way, if you watch the Star Wars uh, A New Hope, uh, it's very obvious that the Bantha props are just elephants with goofy costumes. But elephants are cool, so... I'll allow it. Yes, meow. We hear you. I just don't know what you expect us to do. This is uh, kind of lame. I really wish that they would let you fight him, but they don't. He comes out and then mines just automatically kill him. You never have to actually face him. Okay. So he gave us some items. Let's uh show the items here. through all these. Yes, I know. And here we go. We got a Crate Dragon Pearl. So there's a couple of different things you can do with the uh, Crate Dragon Pearl. The Dragon Pearl can be used in lightsabers as an upgrade material. You can give it to the chieftain and talk to the storyteller, which is honestly what we're going to do. Chewed human corpse. Jedi Master Robe. Okay. Well. Time to upgrade. Sure, Violet Crystal. Opila Crystal. A chewed Twi'lek corpse. Tattered Equipment Pack. A holocron. Okay, so... Yeah, it was in here. Not where she said it was. Don't make rigmarole this time with a computer defense system. We just automatically get the star map. Obviously, the dragon was keeping it in his cage. Here, in his cave, because why Sit would... Sit down. Statement. I believe there can be little doubt that we have found the star map you were seeking. I am surprised it is still working after all this time. I do not think it is mere chance that we have found the star map here, in the lair of a great dragon. The star map is an artifact of the dark side. The great dragon may have been drawn here by its dark power, only to be enslaved by it. Come, we should leave this place. There's nothing else for us here. Okay. I'll take a level up. Um, let's see here. Um, okay, guys. So, um, it looks like OBS just will not let me show movies. Unfortunately, that means that we missed the cutscene that plays after the movie of them lifting off from Tatooine. Um... Somebody has being an Obi butt. I don't know 
that we can review or rewatch it. Um, let's see here. Hyperspace, Tatooine Vision. Uh, yeah, nope, it won't uh, it won't let us rewatch that cutscene. So here's what happened in the cutscene that I was not able to capture. Um, the Admiral uh, Saul guy, he reported to uh, Darth what's his face that um, Kalo Nord failed in his mission. So now he's sending his apprentice Darth Bandon which is a stupid name, uh, after us. And then in Darth Bandon's introduction, he flung a guy into a computer terminal for no reason, just to be a dick, I guess. Well, when your computer's not working, what else are you going to whip at it? Yeah, well, it wasn't his computer. It was a terminal, like, across the room from him, but sure. <laughs> well, that's what I do to ours. It's a miracle it still works. True. I just throw people into it. See what happens. All right, so we're on Yavin. Yes, again. I always want to come here after every mission because sometimes he has new stuff. Oh, we never did turn in that uh, Chieftain's Gaffy on Tatooine, but, you know, whatever. Well, that's a gaff on your ストロビドバスにも聞いた感じ、ちゃんな聞いてこ。ラシエフ。ラシエフ。ラシエフ。ラシエフ。ラシエフ。ラシエフ。ラシエフ。ラシエフ。ラシエフ。ラシエフ。
don't need the short lightsabers, at least those two. Not selling my uh, other stuff though. Um, don't need that, those are easy to get anyway. Sith Assassin Pistol, um, not really very good, honestly. Blaster rifles are stupid. Mandalorian assault rifle. Mm, not really worth it. I do have an awful lot of uh, frag grenades and concussion grenades and thermal detonators and all, all this stuff. Where are all my mines? Oh, there they are. I'll sell those. All of those. Uh, I'm pretty sure that I don't need droid light plating type 1 at all. And the basic targeting computer is not worth that much. I could sell these stimulants too. These all give you bonuses to your attributes and stuff temporarily. Most of the rest of this though is stuff I don't really want to sell, so. Let's try to buy some of the cheaper items on his list and see where we end up. go ahead and we're going to do some horrible nasty cheating. Uh, where is it here? Go to our save editor. We're going to give ourselves a ton of money so that we can actually afford some of these items. Uh, we want game two. And all we want to do is just take this credits number and let's bump it up by about 75,000. Okay. And then we'll jump back in and purchase those additional items. I probably won't ever use them, but it's cool to have them. And we can see, like, you know, what might be useful if you were going to do this, you know, legitimately, what you might want to focus on purchasing. So, we want that. Uh, we don't need the... I think we already have the Baraguan Shadow Armor. Eh, I'll buy it just to be sure. Heavy Exoskeleton and Light Exoskeleton. Damn, I didn't realize those were also upgradable. I do want all the upgradable stuff.
Oof. This is some serious, like... I'm having to make some questions here. For now, I'll consider us good. Like... Those droid items are insanely good. Um, being able to have unlimited uses on your stuff. And some of the other equipment is really, really, really good too, but like, whatever. So, so, this is what I'm currently using as my weapon. If I switched it to this, I'd actually be doing about the same. What's but fully upgraded, it would be much better. There. That is a heck of a sword. 11 to 41 damage. That is uh, pretty insane and better than lightsabers are going to even be. We'll monkey around with the other stuff later. For right now, let's head. Manan. And hopefully. Okay, it's working. It's working. Okay. If I skip the videos immediately, it looks like it's okay. Videos ain't anything cool anyway. I mean, at this point, we've seen them all. Well, this movie's working fine, though. Alright, whatever. I, I don't get you, OBS, but you do you. This is Manan, and it looks awesome. And it's easily the most annoying planet in the game. I hate Manan so much. So, so, so much. continues to work through us, showing us the star maps unearthed by Revenant Malak. It is strange that anyone would have built a star map here. The entire surface of Manan is covered by nothing but vast oceans. The ocean floor is vast, and much of it is uncharted, even by the native Selkath. But how could Revenant Malak have found their way down? No doubt things will become more clear once we discover the star map's location. Okay. Awesome. It's the controls no worky bug. So I gotta exit and jump back in. One heck of a stream tonight, huh? Yeah, I mean... What can you do? This game is so unstable on modern hardware. It's... Like, this is the Steam version that's, like, supposedly optimized for this stuff. And it still crashes all the time. Whatever. It's fine. Let's get the heck out of Dodge. Um, we'll bring you, and we'll bring you. Powers. He gets 
two this time. Uh, you can take destroy the droid. And sure, plague. Nope, no, no, not scripts, of course. Nice low poly texture in there of the ship. You Republic people are so pathetic sitting around groveling at the table scraps that the Galactic Senators deign to give you. It makes me sick. The Senators work for the good of the whole galaxy, not for individual gain. Ha! Don't make me laugh, you gutless sip. It's the destiny of weak-minded fools like you to be ruled over by the strong, like we Sith. I'm warning you. Don't push me or you'll get just what you're asking for. Try it. Just try it. I'd love to see you throw the first punch. And with all the cameras around, the cell cat would be all over you inside of 30 seconds. You bring their paws. You pay the price, Republic scum. But I can see that you're not mad enough to back up your words anyway. If you ever feel like relieving yourself of your worthless existence, feel free to come by our enclave here. We have many, many ways to fulfill your wish. So, that's the situation on Manan. <sighs> yeah, what are you... Oh, I apologize, Master Jedi. I should not have been rude. No, really. I should apologize. I, I should try to control myself, as you Jedi do. Is yep. there anything I can help you with? Of course. If you have any other questions, you should probably see Roland Wan. He's the Republic diplomat here. He's by the Republic Enclave near the visitor residences. Oh, if you don't know where that is, go north from here, then south past the port official in the first courtyard, east into the second courtyard, then north, then east again. You got that? Have a pleasant stay, Master Jedi. Oh. I didn't catch a word of it. It's okay. Because I also don't care. Manan is officially neutral in this conflict, which means that they, don't help at all. they think that the Sith and the Republic are both equally valid, even though the Sith go around picking fights and the Republic get in trouble for it. This is what they sound wish they did. They, they just consistently sound like they're trying to like hawk up a loogie or something. Alright, you got nothing worth having to me. Sure. Everything I wanted to on Kashik. Time to go. Time to move on. To bed. I'm old and tired, you know. How many kilometer high trees can you find it interesting before you figure you've had enough? I bet you can't be bothered to stay in one room for more than 15 minutes. And there's all the critters and the shadowlands. I'm just happy to be back in space doing something new. Is that too much to ask? Yes. So I could. 
Not having a ship does tend to put a damper on that kind of idea, however. I'll admit, for all its flaws, Kashyyyk was home enough. But when you came along and I saw the destiny you had before you, I couldn't help but be intrigued. Of course not. Weren't you listening last time? I can see that you have a destiny before you, but the details are far from clear. In fact, everything about you that I can see is odd. Slightly off, as if my eyes are trying to trick me. Something... something is very dark about you. But... Ah, I'm sure you don't need to hear my ruminations. You've probably got oh, enough just nosy Jedi offering you one opinion after another to make you sick. Tell me more. Your future will come of its own accord, trust me. Sometimes navel-gazing at it doesn't get you anywhere. I wouldn't worry about it too much if I were you. You remind me a bit of Nomi. <laughs> that can't be all bad. Nomi Sunrider. She came late to the Force, just as you have, and became one of the greatest Jedi ever. Oh, fine, fine lass. Whether you'll follow the same path remains to be seen. For one thing, we'll never get anywhere if you stand around chatting up old men all day. Oh, stop being such a baby. Are you always so quick to turn aside an ally? Got too many of them, do you? Yeah. One thing I will say is that this little escapade does remind me a bit of my adventuring days before the war. Uh, Leo Karth is just kind of staring off into space while this is all going on. Don't me of say anything. He didn't stand around. Doesn't concern What's keeping you? You're too young to be so talkative. Shoot! Shoot! Well, I do have a bunch of Gizka frog rats. Okay, cool. Uh, you can also just wait, and eventually you can find your way. Blah, 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 blah. And then there are... There's this Sith. Enough time to listen to your stories. I've got a full shipment of Calto ready to load before my shift is over. Enough time to listen to your stories. I've got a full shipment of Calto ready to load before my shift is over. This leads to the main town. Manan really looks nice. I, I will give it that. Yes, I know. The security cameras have been deactivated. You don't have to announce it every time. On it. Damn. Oh well. And I don't think there's anything else here. Karth, what the hell just happened to you? Yes, what's on your... 
I already told... Well, there, there is more to it. I'm, I'm sure you don't want to hear about it. It's just that I don't talk about it very much, okay? I told you about my homeworld, Telos. Four years ago, Saul led the Sith fleet there and demanded its surrender. The planet refused, and Saul proceeded to devastate its entire surface. Millions died. I had a, a, a wife and a son on Telos. I thought they would be safe there. But my task force arrived too late to be of much help. We, we didn't have enough medical supplies. The colony was, was burning and the dying were everywhere. I remember holding my wife and screaming for the medics, but th they didn't come in time. Well, you should have tried using a telephone. Like. Of course not. How could you? I, I, mean, I had nothing left after that, really. I, I devoted myself to the fleet. Hunting Saul was my only purpose. I, I find I that them. story a little hard I to believe. killing Saul won't bring them back. No, no, not and the I war thing, but the fact again, that you were married I, and had a kid. I have to do it. I don't expect you to understand, but I have to pay him back for what he's done. I have to. It's all I have left. She had courage, and she was stubborn. <laughs> a little bit like you in that respect. Never talked her out of anything once she put her mind to it. And she hated it when I signed back onto the fleet at the start of the war. Now I had planned on, on leaving soon to join her. His name was Dustal, and I don't know what happened to him. The colony was a complete ruin, and we never found any trace of him. I made inquiries and followed the reports from Telos for years, but I stopped. Anyway, that's the story, for what it's worth. I've uh, never talked about it before to anyone. I suppose it's time I finally did. Okay. Ugh, you're kidding. I can't just fast travel back to the ship. This planet is already annoying me. And I was headed off in the wrong direction. Alright, so I'm going to go back onto the ship and back out. Because uh, that information about his son... I think is the one thing that was preventing us from triggering a scene with somebody telling us that. Yeah. Well, it's, it's I won't I won't do spoilers. Whoa! Wait. This is it. This is the scene I was talking about. Karth, Karth Onesi, is that you, Jordo? It is you, isn't it? Jordo. I knew it when I laid eyes on you. You old space dog. How have you been? I thought for sure you'd be fighting on some ship out there. I was. I crashed. <laughs> That's pretty rich. I can't imagine what it would take to keep you on the ground. Must have something to do with your pretty friend here, hey? How do you do, miss? Sure am. We joined the militia together back on Telos. That was a lot of years ago, of course. So what are you doing here, Jordo? Last time I saw you was on, uh, well, Telos, actually. Yeah. It's a shame about home. Pilo still hasn't recovered. The family and I moved on, and I'm working for Zerka now. I didn't see you after... Uh, what I mean is, my condolences on your wife. I heard what happened. At least your boy made it through all right. My boy? Y you mean Dustle? Yes, of course. I saw him at my last stop on Korriban. Though he didn't recognize me. You didn't know he was there? No. Jordo, Dustal's been missing since the attack on Telos. Are you are you absolutely certain it was him? Yeah, I'd recognize Dustal anywhere. Positive. He's um he's joined the Sith, Garth. What do you mean he's joined the Sith? Like, how many different interpretations for that sentence can there be? He wasn't there. I saw him suited up in their outfit and everything. Sorry. I thought you knew. No, no, I I didn't. Well, thanks for telling me, Jordo. Sure. No. No problem. Good to see you again, Karth. Hope everything works out with Dustal. Dustal? Dustal is alive. We, we have to go to the Korriban Academy and find him. Do we know? Thank you. I, I, I just have to see him. I have to know what happened to him. All this time I thought he was... I mean, he must be a man by now. Or woman. Let's not, like, peg him into, like, a specific... Let's let's not pigeonhole him into a specific gender role. Yeah, for all you know, he could no longer be human. He could be Twi'lek. I mean, no judgment. Uh, 
Oh my god, stop doing that. I'm just trying to navigate. Your, your camera keeps twisting things around. Ugh. Uh, Jeebus. I forget why I came on here. Uh, but we got what we needed out of Karth, so let's... Let's see if we can get a similar scene to trigger for these idiots. Probably not, but... Looks like not. I hope this planet is cool with us running around with weapons drawn and stuff, because that's exactly what I'm doing. Okay. No, I'm not playing with it. I'm sorry, Bioware, but, like, your card games are boring. boring. Okay. Of course he makes you pay the docking fee every time. Unlike on other worlds where you only pay one time. Oh my god, Julie. Here we are. very pretty world. It's definitely going to become increasingly annoying, but you'll see why later. That's a tale for another time. Thank you guys for uh, tuning in tonight. It's been fun. I hope you've enjoyed it, despite the OBS problems. Um, I'll stitch this together. It might not go up before the next video goes up, but like, you know, whatever. It's, we're used to the sort of technical problems with this game by now. Um, until next time, guys, let's, uh, let's call it a stream.